A once-in-a-century event is currently ravaging the United States and is known as COVID-19, the coronavirus. This current American pandemic has similarities with the Spanish flu that struck us a century ago. The Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, noted that there were three waves of the 1918 Spanish flu. Here are some photos from the CDC website as the nation tried to come to grips with the pandemic. The first wave was reported in Kansas and was considered relatively minor in scope. However, by the fall of 1918, there was a different story emerging as the second wave arrived. And in 1919, there was also a third wave. The CDC estimated 675,000 Americans succumbed during these three waves. Around the world, the flu claimed 50 million lives. The second and most deadliest flu wave began to hit the United States East Coast around Boston in September of 1918. It took about three weeks to reach Michigan. By the first few days of October, the Spanish flu made its way to Michigan with our hot spot at Fort Custer, the military base in Battle Creek. Within a week, the camp had 5,000 soldiers hospitalized and over 150 dead. Many mid-Michigan communities began to shut down schools and other places where people congregated, churches, theaters, pool halls, in order to combat the spread of the virus. The city of Lansing shut all of those down, but delayed a few days with the schools. Their rationale was that the running water and indoor plumbing provided many children with good hygiene opportunities. However, Lansing eventually relented and shuttered their schools. In Williamston, the schools were closed from mid-October to mid-November, a period of four weeks. A Lansing newspaper carried this Williamston article dated October 17, 1918. The town council has ordered all public places closed on account of the influenza. The public schools and the New Way Knitting Factory closed until further notice. There will be no lodge meetings or meetings in the churches. There were eight new cases reported here Monday. Everyone was susceptible to the illness, as Weberville's 23-year-old Harvey Miller, a butcher shop clerk, died from pneumonia on October 10th, brought on by a battle with the Spanish flu. Eventually, the three waves passed, and we made it through the Spanish flu pandemic. For some happier news of the time, during the second wave of the flu, World War I ended. As to why the name the Spanish flu? It was believed to actually have started in France during the final year of World War I. It was said that World War I news censorship played a part. As to not panic the Allies, the virus existence was downplayed by all of the European warring nations. However, Spain, a neutral country during World War I, reported these news stories concerning the illness and its quick and deadly spread. Due to their coverage, their country's name was attached, and thus, the Spanish flu. So there you have it. I am Mitch Lutsky. See you around.